right. Shalom, Kala, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kadash. Okay. Double honors to the elder apostles of Green Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. So, on the screen is, uh, this is secondary uh, media, all right? When I say secondary media, I just mean that it's not mainstream media. Uh, and some information that came out, you know, seems interesting. I don't know if it's plausible or not, but still, nevertheless, because of who's speaking, I'm still going to filter it through the scriptures. Okay. And I'm just going to let it play and then I'm going to come in on it. Okay. First off is uh, ex-military uh, or military that's on uh, uh, discharge. Not honorable discharge, but just discharge for the meanwhile for whatever reason. But as it goes on, uh, I'll see the reason. All right. So. Let's play it. Are we at the verge of a civil event? That's what I'm going to let you guys decide here in a second. As many of you know, we have a call-in show on our other channel. And what its main purpose is, is to encourage ex or current military to call in and give their opinions on what is going on right now. The call that we got last night is actually one of the most credible and legit calls we have ever gotten and it is disturbing. It will literally raise the hair on the back of your neck. Check it out. You're live on Marfugal TV. Thank you for being so patient. Thank goodness. My buddy got me into this. Oh goodness. I don't even know where to start. Um, all right. So I guess I'll start out. Uh, my name is Jim. Uh, I'm Staff Sergeant E6. Uh, I'm a little nervous at the moment. Uh, we'll, we'll get 72 hours. I'm on convalescent leave right now. Uh, I just had. So he said he's on convalescent leave, and he's saying that he just had a uh, a child. Okay. So he's going further by saying that is a domestic deployment, meaning that uh, if you've seen that uh, movie Bushwick, okay, this is what's coming to mind as he's speaking, okay. Uh, to call someone back because uh, the army, our, 
hard to believe they actually do respect uh, when people have kids and you know major illnesses in the family and so on. So. That's that's one of the scriptures. One of the scriptures I'm going to get is in Isaiah 19. That was the scripture I'm going to find, and I'm going to put that one up. Uh, there shall be no uh, husbandmen. Okay, I'm going to get that one. Cause as you can see, now look at this devil. <laughs> now he's uh, his mind is blown right now. You know. And Esau, Edom, they take this this type of uh, rhetoric or this type of talk serious, man. All right. But you Jakes, you Jakes have no idea, man. I'm going to get the scripture on that as well. Okay. And um, second answer is the 15th uh, chapter. Okay. can see at the bottom of the screen it says several other callers have said that they were asked if they would fire on our own people if need be during their aswav test okay and I can remember that when Jay Helm started a lot of uh, higher up officials they quit or they resigned from the military all right so something possibly is afoot, but we know through the scripture that it will uh, uh, come to light. You know, uh, let me get it. I think he got a little bit more information. This isn't normal, and everyone I've talked to has never heard of anything like this before. Can I can I also ask your opinion about a couple other callers that said? Uh, they are current service or they're ex service members that have been called up, and people are asking uh, recruiters are asking their friends and family about them. Like they're basically saying, "Hey, Absolutely. you know." Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, they're they're pulling people in that have reenlistment codes that are, I mean, uh, as long as they weren't dishonorably discharged or a bad OTH, other other than honorable. Uh, I've got buddies who've been out for five, six years that I just started seeing on base, you know, randomly and sporadically over the course of the last six to nine months. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't speak for the recruiters part, but I know there's people that are coming back in and there is a, a you know, certain MOSs, occupation, is what we call our jobs, um, that are in such high demand that there's such shortages for those positions that, uh, you know, at least what they're saying is they're having to reach into, uh, you know, talent buckets that they normally don't go in. Okay, so that's just about the gist of it. You know, something's coming. He's saying that it's going to be against uh, civilians or people of the American uh, populace. All right. That's pretty much it on that. Okay. So, let's go into the scriptures. And he said some key things, you know. And uh, this is Isaiah 19 and 1. It says, The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. All right. And we already seen the chariots, man. The chariots are... Uh, uh, are everywhere okay 
and we're, we're breaking down the stronghold of, of the major god in Egypt which is Cesare Bourget but he's had so many other names man okay Serapidus okay all these ancient uh, deities or idols okay so we bringing them low man okay that's why they they heart shall melt in the midst of it the Egypt Egypt heart shall melt in the midst of it and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom okay and that's what we're starting to see man and if this dude uh, report is true man that drill that they're planning on doing could escalate into something bigger but we have it all in the scriptures right here okay what's well, gonna go down okay and then when you go to second Ezra there's so much in second Ezra man you know you can really like just skip around okay I'll start at 1 it says 2nd Ezra 15 and 1 alright behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth said the Lord and that's what I'm doing according to that little tidbit of information that I got man and this is how it's gonna go I'm gonna get these devils fighting amongst these they selves and uh that that little drill it could turn into a major civil war Cause this is the uh, civil war scripture right here okay and them pitting themselves against each other and you know with the uh, way that their government is going right now man everything is being uh, shooken out of place out of its fine de foundation so to speak because it's the end of this rulership this kingdom okay and caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true so if it's written in the holy scriptures man by the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai it's going to come to pass man no ifs ands and buts about it okay it says fill not the imagination against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee and we have enough naysayers and um, scoffers to go around man but that's not our main issue because the scriptures say in these days scoffers shall come and that's what we're taking on right now but it says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness behold said the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction and so far hey it's rocking and rolling man okay got these new uh, uh pestilence showing up now more than ever and it's mainly uh, uh it's infecting esau <laughs> You know, crippling their kids, killing them, you know. So, yeah, it's going down on the earth, man. But wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Because they're the only ones going about destroying the earth itself, then destroying the lands, and then destroying the people that's on the lands. Okay? They're the only ones that's going around doing that. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Okay. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me and the soul of the just complain continually. So we're uplifting ourselves. Bye bye. Doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai out there on the highways and byways and on these videos, epistles, and the blood that they spill, man, is crying out to the Lord also, just like uh, 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 Abel, okay, did when uh, Cain slew him, all right, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So when them chariots come, man, okay. 
That's why we're going to get beamed up. And I'm talking about the 144,000. Not all black people, okay? Because the Lord ain't interested in black people. He, he's interested in Israelites, okay? The chosen uh, seed, okay? All, all may be from Israel, but all are not Israel, okay? Hold that in your, in your pipe and smoke that, all right? two-thirds because that's what y'all like to do smoke shit up all right verse 10 behold my people is led at the flock to the slaughter i will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of egypt why Be because he's not going to suffer us to dwell here because he's going to utterly destroy this place man okay And he says it in verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and will and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. OK, let's jump to Michael 5 and 12. All right. And this is what we starting to see, man. Why? Because their own tongues are falling on themselves. This is Michael 5 and 12, and it says, And I will cut off witchcraft out of their hand, and thou shalt no more soothsayers. Okay? People that uh, say that they're going to uh, 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 prognosticate to the stars, you know, do their uh, rituals. None of that's working anymore because the men of the Lord are standing out there firm, bold as lions, and we're breaking the spell over this place. Okay? Just like it says in Leviticus uh, uh, 4, I believe, in 21, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Grab that real quick. It's not Leviticus 4 and 21. Yeah, but going back to this, so the Lord is, is, you know, cutting off his witchcraft from, from his, uh, from his power, which is the government, man. All right. And that's why they planning this, uh, this operation, hot musket. Okay. Because they know sooner or later, the people are going to rebel, whether they be of, of, Edom or any other nation heathen whatever the case may be man they know that they got a real fight about to happen here okay anytime when a society loses its uh, idols which is the uh, religion or some type of structure that keeps them in place this is what's going to happen all these uh Scrimmages and, and fighting and fighting. That's what's going to happen, man. And that's what it says in Isaiah uh, 19 and 2. Micah 5 and 13. The graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images 
images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. And I will pluck up the groves out of the midst of thee, so will I destroy thy cities. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. And that's what's coming, man. Just like it says in, um, let me get it. Daniels 12 and 1 and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time that people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book and that's what Michael was talking about not Micah uh, uh, second Azarus Salaki it says, Behold, my people is led at the flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Why? Because Michael was going to rescue us out of that time. Okay. But that was just brief, man. You know, I wanted to show that video clip because, you know, he, those devils were actually talking about that what we uh, prophesied in Isaiah 19 and 2. And that was 72 hours so he have he has to tomorrow night maybe at 11 o'clock if I'm not mistaken because it's 72 hours where Monday we just gonna have to watch and see what's going on okay if it's televised or if we have to get into uh, this alternative media outlet a little bit more and find out what was going on but something it's definitely a foot, you know, and that's just off a of hearsay. But you know, we know that something is definitely a foot because the scriptures say it. Okay. So with that, I want to say shalom, call out Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, and uh, you know, just look up, man. Our redemption is nigh.